Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins. Recently, we took the DM Zone on the road. Road trip, road trip, where we went to New York City. We had the privilege of interviewing several Entangled Publishing authors. Before we got there, I got to read The Marriage Bargain by Jennifer Probst. Recently, Self Magazine said it's the book that you must read after Shades of Grey. Let's watch. Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins and you have entered the DM Zone. I am so excited today to welcome New York Times bestseller, Jennifer Probst. Welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I am so excited. Let's talk about that spark. What made you start writing? I have always loved to be a writer. Ever since I was young and I picked up that notebook and I wrote my first young adult romance and <laughs> brought it to junior high to read it, I have always loved the book. Self Magazine listed The Marriage Bargain as the next book to read after Fifty Shades of Grey. What do you think of that comparison? When Self Magazine listed The Marriage Bargain as what to read after Fifty Shades, I was blown away. <laughs> what Fifty Shades did for the market though, which I love, is that it took the romance genre and it turned it mainstream. And that allows more romance novels to reach more readers and it makes me work a lot harder so I can reach those readers. How wonderful. So the characters in your book, The Marriage Bargain, Nick and Alexa, where did they come from? Nick's, uh, Nick and Alexa were very special to me. I love the idea of pitting a bookstore owner with a generous heart, somebody who wants to save her family home. And then she meets Nick, her childhood friend, but he had a terrible past. His parents have completely damaged him. He doesn't believe in love, he doesn't believe in monogamy, and he'll never get married. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> so you set a marriage of convenience between those two, and the sparks start to fly. I want to know, is Nick and Alexa Alexa, based on a real person? No, they're not, because my brain created something better, bigger <laughs> than life. The damaged hero who's been completely annihilated by his parents, and this wonderful heroine that just jumps off the page, and her generosity and kind heart just completely heal him through the journey. I love it. And the marriage bargain, that idea came from the characters, or what? I love the idea of a marriage of convenience story. They're my favorite to read, and I hadn't seen too many in contemporary novels. So I thought that I'd put a twist with their childhood friends, and they grow up, and they need to marry. So what you bring into the story is this one wonderful childhood banter that they have, the old insults that come to life, and meanwhile they have a sexual spark that they didn't have when they were younger. This journey that you're on as a New York Times bestseller, kind of a Cinderella story. Tell me about it. It is a Cinderella story, and I found the glass slipper. <laughs> I have been writing my whole life, and the writing journey is really, really hard. I've had a day job my whole life, but the wonderful rise of the marriage bargain, right before it hit the New York Times bestseller list, I was actually on unemployment. I had been laid off by my day job and was trying to really struggle to make it as a full-time writer. And I had two weeks left of my unemployment, and my book hit number one on the Barnes & Noble list and then hit the New York Times, USA Today, and the Wall Street Journal. So it has been an amazing journey, and I am so grateful. Oh, I think it's so wonderful for you. I'm just so excited for you. Thank you so much, Dee. All right, now I also, talking about happy endings, I understand that you don't always believe that real life can be happy endings. How does that work? I believe in happy beginnings. <laughs> I have always believed that since my husband and I met. We met at a bar and he came up with this fantastic line that still gets me today. He said, I will buy your book if I can buy you dinner. <laughs> Oh my goodness! And it did work out. We've been married eight years and it is about beginnings. It's not about when the marriage ends, it's about when the marriage begins. And where can fans find you? Fans are highly encouraged to stalk me <laughs> and the best place to do that is my website which is jenniferprobes.com. There's lots of goodies there so definitely come by and see me. Oh how fun. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you so much for having me DM. It's been a real pleasure. Great. And you have been in the DM zone. Come back soon. I'm Jennifer Probst, the author of The Marriage Bargain, and I wouldn't bargain for a marriage of convenience.
<laughs> that was so much fun. And I hope this becomes the marriage bargain, becomes a happy beginning for Jennifer Probst. I give it a must read, five stars. You've been in the DM zone. Come back soon.